Viewer discretion advised, this show has explicit language. The views and content do not reflect the views of YouTube or NY Styles. We do not own these videos and are property of their respected owners. What's going on? Caesar, Legendary Cuts, we back at it. It's Christian here, the unaffiliated barber. Thank you for another episode of Barber Talk. Um, yeah, we were out last, was it one week or two weeks? One week, we were out one week. Yeah, I was on vacation, went yeah. snowboarding, Shh, took time off. That yeah, was nice. my son's birthday too, so I had to get all that shit in order. That's a headache. It's yeah. a fucking headache. Planning a party, <sighs> fucking every, running everything smooth, invites, headache. Yeah, it was, it was nuts, but we're here. Um. Yeah, so, oh, yo, before we get into it, um, have you been seeing... All of these, like, female barbers get their fucking wall box. Wall box? They're getting, like, walls. It's, like, just sending them a fucking box of shit. What, fe like, only female barbers? Uh, that's what I've been seeing lately, like, on Instagram. Like, what the fuck? Because they got a fat butt and they bend over in their videos. <laughs> like, they get free stuff from <coughs> walls. Like, shit. BBLs. Um, the BBLs are running I'm the like, game. I'm like, yo, nothing against you guys. I'm not saying that because I'm a no hater. Good. But where's my free shit at? Yeah. I don't got a big butt, but I don't send know, me maybe, shit. Maybe I gotta do Pause. some more videos or something like, not those videos, but <laughs> maybe we gotta do some some more shit. No, nah, I, I haven't seen that. That shit's been going around. Yo, it's like a, at least six to eight fucking female barbers I follow all got a fucking walls box, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? I don't get nothing from wall. No. Like, and I've been sending you guys shit. Fix my shit. Yeah, I'm like, yo, I get it. Like, you got to fill out the fucking form. Oh, we're going to be an influencer, affiliate program, blah, 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 blah. I don't like walls to begin with. Yeah, walls can eat a dick. Like, yo, I haven't used none of that shit in a minute. Their, their battery life sucks. They walls, Babyliss, and Anderson can all fucking eat a dick. Yeah, they their battery life is garbage. Garbage. But I don't, I, yeah, I never fuck with them. I had the legends. I had the, uh, the seniors. They were good. But then once the, you could feel, like, when you first get a buzzer, yeah, it's brand new. It's powerful. But eventually you start feeling that that shit dies yeah, down. And, and, that, and there'll be like four months into it. No. I mean, because you're using it all the time, but... You know, I do massive amounts of haircuts. But and the fucking machine just takes the shit after two, three weeks. Your shit don't do that. And the TPOB, no. Nah. Yo, talking about hair... Yo. My man is on a fucking... He's on a rant right now. Yeah, going ape shit. And like, again, female barbers. So I'm, I'm not, not... Nothing against you guys. I love you guys. I love watching your videos. But TPOB is going apeshit right now because he made one joke and all the female barbers all butthurt about it. What do you say? Something about fucking like, oh, no, don't bring your girlfriend to the barbershop because all the barbers going to fucking run a train or some shit. <laughs> and like all the fucking, like, yo, yo, he's a fucking troll. You can't take him serious. Yeah. Like, and these, these the women are getting all butthurt. Like, They're trying to cancel him out? Yeah. Nah. He's Keep like, doing your thing, bro. Keep doing your like, thing. Yo, I'm not co-signing like that. It's a fucking joke, though. Like, yeah. I know it's a joke. Bunch of Karens. Bunch right. of Barbara That's Karens. That's what he's saying, but I'm like, eh. <laughs> I'm mm. like, uh, I'm not co-signing none of that because I don't want to get canceled. If the, per if the girls are the ones that are getting offended, well, any particular girl that's getting offended to that, then they should maybe consider, like, all right, that's them, you know? Like... They have a problem with them. I don't know. Like, no you know? dude. Because if you know if that's nothing against you, then Yo, he, got, he funny. fucking roasts Go dudes by. all day long. Yeah, we don't get butt hurt. The one time he corrects a female barber joke. Or, like, a bring your girlfriend to the barber joke. I wonder if that's if that's the same thing with salons. What? Like, you, you, your girlfriend go gets the, her hair done. <laughs> And then they bring their man <laughs> to the barber shop, and all these women like yeah, you think they do the same thing. Like a fucking piece of meat. Yeah, piece of meat. You're like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, def I don't think that shit happens. Oh no, I don't think so. I don't think so. But let us know. Do you have? Do you guys have any experience with that? Did you bring your boyfriends in, and and everybody's? Are looking they at being your bossy boy? too? Like, are the fucking boyfriends telling you what haircut you're getting? Oh, he just wanted, she just wants it this color with this many strands on this color and cut down this part, but don't make it curly on this part. Like, Mad picky. Just imagine that. And that's what you do when you you go into the barbershop with your boyfriend. Just saying. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see the reason why you do it. Unless, 
like it's hot outside. They don't. I don't know. When I go to the, when, like when my girl gets her hair done, I don't go with her. Oh, that's like her time. You know, like they they do their they t- they have their gossip. You know, like they chill. Yeah. I don't need to in, inter into interrupt that. That's she's paying for that service. You know. I ain't. <laughs> but. No, nah, I don't. I don't know. To each their own. Shit is wild. Like I mean, Karen's out there. Like yo, let my man make his jokes, bro. Yeah. That's what made his company his company is the jokes. Yeah, and he does a lot of animation, right? Like yeah. with the. Yeah, with his, like, uh, Cause yeah. Because I don't. I don't know. I don't know who's behind. Like, do they? Did they reveal themselves? Like, was the dude with the mask on? With the green mask. Yeah, but they they never no. show face. He's one of those like marshmallows. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Marshmallow green, barber. The green TPOB mask on, and that's it. Fuck it. Everyone's rocking with it. Everyone likes it. Yeah. I'm like, fuck it. But that. we need. I haven't experienced. I haven't had um, experience with it, but a lot of people are comparing this clip it to Coco. What's the difference? I know you have your pre- preference. I want to hear everybody's thoughts about it because the Cocos and TPOB. They say that they look the same, they feel the same, but they cut different. Well, I know, I know, but like, but like people that if they're really the same machine, if they're they're really the same machine and using the same, unless someone took took it apart and little different mods and shit, they should cut the same, feel the same. But everyone's saying no, Coco is better. No, TPOB is better. What is your What is your thoughts? I want to know because I'm I like to try new clippers. So I'll try Cocos, I'll try TPOBs. I have no, I show love on whatever company's good. But uh, yeah, show me, give me your feedback on that because I've been hearing, it's like vi- rivalry. <laughs> what are you looking for? Vape. Your vape. Oh. Got it. It's in the fucking whole time. Cut. But yeah. Sorry about that. But no, no, I'm. I'm not gonna say anything, but I was told my clip was an off-brand version. We went over this in another episode, and the cocos are the real ones. And yeah, if they're the same, same done by the same manufacturer, same warehouse. Same they have two different motors. That's the oh, okay. two different motors, two different batteries. Okay. But the person who told me mine was an off-brand, their coco took a shit on them. So, and they had it half the amount of time I've had mine. Yeah. One bad machine or TPO be that much better. Yeah, I was wandering around talking about vape. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but nah, yeah, I want, I want to, I want to try them. No, nah, I, I want to try the 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 Coco trimmer. Again, I have the TPOV trimmer. Not a fan of it right now. I was when I first got it. I dropped it, broke the blade. Got a replacement blade. It's loud as fuck. Oh. So, like, I haven't been using it. Most of the time when you change a blade... It should... Go back to being, like, almost new again. Yeah, quiet. Yeah. So, I don't know if I got a bad blade. I don't know if I got bumped around in transport. I'm going to get another blade, see what happens. But right now, not a fan. And if I get another blade and it's loud, I'm, I might get the Coco one and see how it goes. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't think any any new Clipper came out that I had my eyes on. I I that's the thing. I was looking at those low pros from Babyliss. I I uh, yeah, but the, it's the, the same. new battery. Yeah, but that's just like the same thing with the FX when that first came out. The well, whole who thing, knows like, how long the battery's gonna last. Exactly because I I'll, I'll be charging the two batteries, and it'll be blinking or solid whatever, and I'll put it on and it's blinking red. Yeah, I'm dying. I'm like, what the fuck? This has been. You know, I know I don't charge my shit overnight because I feel like. Uh, I don't know if it's, like, yeah. superstitious, but I feel like if you run the mm-hmm. battery over, you burn you burn it quicker, so I usually don't do that. Um, but, yeah, that shit never fully charges. It takes f- forever. <laughs> it's not fucking, yeah. That, that's, I don't know if it's a it's a Babyliss thing, which I believe. And yeah, Babyliss, I don't know. They, they must be the batteries from somewhere. Yeah, so the low pro is not really just because of the battery. I feel like it cuts the same, just different body style. I'm going to check them out at the, the expo, see how they, like, look and feel. If they look and feel exactly the same, and then supposedly has a better battery, I might get it. I I want to try something 
different. But I don't know. I, the J- I J- hope JRL's, TPOB's at the fucking uh, expo. They're not? No, Get no. yourself a booth. Be there so we can come and support and maybe I'll buy a clipper. I might get that triple pack if he's there. With the, the XO, because I have the X clipper. The XO has the buttons in a different position. I like that they come with cool colors, though. Well, the XO and the X only come in green and black. Yeah, but it's cool, like with lime green. Well, he, the troll comes in that pink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they got the, the Dr. Barber fucking the troll. The troll, that, that, that's like the light body one, right? That's the plastic body, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that one. I use that one a lot. I still use that one a lot, even though I got the X. I don't know. I, 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 still, I feel like I need a little weight to it. Like that super. I don't know. Fun. I feel like it feels like your, um, your instinct, the little one. That's what I'm saying. Like, the instinct is good. I like it. But it's just too, like. Yeah, because sometimes, like, you'll be, too, you'll be in your mode. Because I mean, that. Shoom, right through. I'm like, oh, yeah, fuck, like, gotta move. Because the they're so there. light, and then you're thinking, like, you know, your wrist, you know, motion. Sometimes you just flick up too high. Yeah. And, you know, like, I don't know. I feel like the weight, a good weight balances that. I don't know. That's just in my head anymore. This is how I cut. But. Where, whatever. Yeah. Well, I know we got our segments. You doing your financials today? Yeah, so I want to do just marketing. Okay. Uh, self-marketing. I'm going to my phone real quick because I forgot my shout-out. Yeah, <laughs> shout-out. Shout-out to fucking nobody. Absolutely nobody. <laughs> but myself and my family. Uh, yeah, self-marketing. Uh, if you're going to be... In any type of business, um, marketing is, especially if you're self-employed, you um, promote yourself. You got to promote, promote, promote content, no content, whatever it is. If it's word of mouth or if it's um, business cards or Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is, you got to be out there because people are on their phones all day. They scroll, 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 and eventually... Your video will pop up. They'll they'll see something, even if it doesn't attract one person. You'll, you'll attract somebody, and that somebody will tell somebody, and then going and going. So mark self marketing. You always wanna, and that's how you build your clientele, and you provide good service, and so they keep coming back. But um, yeah, I believe social media is the biggest marketing right now. Right now, yeah. Um. When I was trying to get my clients up and I was trying to start my YouTube originally, or young barbers, I know you don't make a lot, new barbers, you don't make a lot because like you're waiting on your walkies, whatever. Take pictures of every fucking haircut and if you gotta boost a post, boost that motherfucker because that's gonna generate, you can pick where it's posting at and you're di- like what di- demographic, what area, because that's going to give you more customers based off of, like, what you see. Like, every barber is not for everybody. Facts. But you are definitely for somebody. So just show yourself to everybody possible, and your peoples will come to you. Boost, that's, that's like, one of the perks, right? For yeah. Like, for I boosted it on Facebook and Instagram. And I know is you, it free? No, you got to no. pay for it. Is it. But you can post a, you can boost something for, like, $5 yeah. for a week. <laughs> And yeah. like it, it might Listen, everybody, like, oh, I don't want to pay People have money. stupid subscriptions. They could uh, afford five dollars a week. Just put it this way: if it's going to well, make you how more much money, everybody it's an investment. Charges for their haircuts, <laughs> but if you put one haircut, your money, whatever you charge, one haircut's worth of money a week into promoting, that's going to come back to you times ten. It might not be instantly. But it's definitely gonna come back to you. Yeah, it's an investment. You so gotta like, invest in yourself. Just like you, you don't buy inve- clippers, you buy gloves, you pay for the boost. Exactly. If you're gonna budget, at least you know, you invest in yourself. You gotta invest in yourself. And how much Otherwise, would you? How much would you spend for fucking business cards anyway? Yeah, like twenty. I mean, some places have different discounts but and all that. But you, like, instead more of roughly, spending like, that, from like forty to fifty dollars. Yeah, instead of spending it on business cards, <coughs> doing on boosting yourself. You get a hundred business cards. You'll probably get like maybe ten. Yeah, clients. Nobody like you know, no one like you, there's it's different ways. The, it's not the same as it used to be with a business card. Like now, like you gotta promote yourself. Yeah. And like, when me jumping into the game pretty late, um I mean I'm when I mean late is like my age, but back then when I was younger, we didn't have social media. We had what? 
I mean, we had MySpace, <laughs> we had AOL, you know, like stuff like that. It wasn't like Instagram or Vine went back a couple years back, you know, like we didn't have all that. No. So everything's like was word of mouth, uh, going around, passing shit, you know, like th- things were different back then. Now you got social media at your fingers, at your fingertips. So it's use that to advantage, you know, even if you're lazy, you can go through your camera roll, put something, and if you don't know how to edit, there's apps that that do they'll make yeah. a reel for you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, yo, there's so, so much shit out there. To so and it's stuff. free if you know how to use it right. It's free. All you gotta do is just put the time in and market yourself, invest in yourself because that's how you're gonna grow. If you don't grow, then if you don't do nothing with yourself, then you're not. That's that's where you're gonna be. Be stuck. Yeah, and not. I'm not I'm not comfortable where I'm at. I don't not where I'm at, but I need to get where I want to be. It's I have to put the time in. Like even me, like I promoted my ass off, but I got comfortable. So now like it's slow again. It's just January. It's always <laughs> like slow in January, but yeah, it's just the game that we're in. You know, it's I should be promoting myself like I used to. I go, yeah, I'm busy, but I'm not as busy as I should be. I'm not nonstop. I mean, bi- I mean, you're pretty busy. I'm pretty busy. Father, fa- f- dad life, fucking <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that yeah. shit. That shit is another whole 24, 48 hour job. You know, full time. Yeah, no. You never clock out of that. Even even this shit, it's like hard trying to fucking settle <laughs> for fucking kids. Kids, fucking life, just hits you, and then <laughs> and then you try to balance everything out with work, with with podcast with photography whatever it is your other businesses it's hard to balance so you got to find a way to let the let social media do the work for you so you don't have to bust your ass doing it on top of your regular life shit they got apps for everything now yeah so that is my financial self-marketing take pictures of everything even if it's fucking trash at least when you do where you're where you're at you're at where you're um <laughs> when when you're at um <laughs> at your where you want to be at cutting you know you're comfortable and you think you you're improved and then you post a before and after where I'm at that's even self marketing right there like oh, yeah. come see me like this is my this progress this is where I was when I started you know this is where I am now but, but it it feels good cuz you're also like damn I really messed up that haircut cuz when you did that first haircut you you're like fresh, it was yeah. all right yeah it was decent and then you go back, you're like, fuck. <laughs> you know, like. I've haircuts I've, from when I like started here. That line. And looking back now, I will never take them down now because. No. That's, that's that shit humbles you. That shit makes you, like, even if you have one good day of yeah, haircut. Once a week, I go, uh, once a month, I go back to my old pics and I'm like, never nah, again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, never, never again. Yeah, that's literally, the, you. that's how you make yourself better. That's how you make, as a person. Because once you start feeling too cocky, then you get comfortable, then then, then all goes down the hill from there. Don't be cocky. You know, don't act like you're the best barber out there. You know, everybody has their perfect techniques, the way they cut their hair. They, every, the way if it, a good haircut comes out the way you want it to come out at the end of the day. That's, that's what a good haircut, I feel like. You know, if you see a haircut before you cut it and you got it too close where enough to how you saw it, boom. Unless they give you a that's fucked up picture. Yeah. Then it's stuck in your brain. Yeah. But, yeah. That's... Yeah, that's my financial... That's the, the financial thing of the week. Take pictures. Take pictures. So, that was Caesar's financials. Um, I got, I got my complaint of the week, I guess. You want to do complaint of the week? Or yeah. you want to do the product of the week first? Um, whatever. Let's go ahead and see your complaint. Um, what was my complaint? Oh, my complaint... For the motherfucking week. It's kind of like complex, but not. And like, I don't want to like harp on shit we already went on before. <laughs> Doesn't no. mean you want to talk about it. Yeah, is that, that's no. that bad. My complaint of the week is like towards semi older barbers in the shop. Not, not older, but like been cutting longer. And giving advice when they don't have the right advice. Yeah. Like, it's like, yo, you you haven't been cutting that long. You just heard a, a barber that's been cutting longer than you've been alive give this somebody a new barber advice. And you want to go over and contradict it. Mm-hmm. 
knowing that you're wrong. <laughs> just to just just to be the troll. Don't do that. Because that new person doesn't fucking understand that you're being a troll. Doesn't understand the history between you and the, the older barber is just back and forth hater. Don't fuck this kid up because you want to say something snide because I said something. You feel me? Yeah. Hmm. If you don't got to, like, like the old fucking mom's thing. If you don't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Because another motherfucker's going to think that what you're saying is right. Yeah. Don't let your personal pettiness cloud a new barber's brain. That's my thing. That's my complaint for the week. Don't give up misinformation just because I said something. And we don't get along. Facts. Because now, now he's going to do something fucked up. I'm going to bug out because it's fucked up. After I told him the right thing. Not realizing that dickhead over here just told him something wrong on purpose. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's my complaint with you. <laughs> That's, that was deep. Like, yo, you know how many times, like, fucking personal <clears throat> fucking politics in the barbershop will fucking mind well, fuck somebody? Well, yeah, I, f- I feel like those those type of conversations you don't talk about it. at a bar, parties, barbershops, because No, no, I'm not talking about, like, government politics. No, I'm, I'm just talking about, about anything. anything like, like, the internal struggle yeah. of, our, of our establishment. It's like, you got people that don't fuck with each other. You got people who do fuck with each other. You have people who fuck with each other more. Yeah. That's that's just how jobs work. And then that these people who don't fuck with each other like that will spill into <laughs> the new people. And then they think it oh, this is the way that it is. No, this is not how it is. That's just us being us and you getting caught in the middle. Yeah. So like <clears throat> don't leave that shit behind. If it's a new barber, just let him rock. If somebody gives him good information, don't give him counter information and like steer them the right way yeah that shit just irks my nerves like I'm like yo this thing is about to fuck something up just because this retard said something just keep doing you to the new barbers don't piss don't pay attention to these old heads you new barbers too I'm a new barber still take shit. all of the information in don't just because I'm a, I've been cutting longer think that I'm 100% right Take it all in and filter it out yourself. Question. Can, can a new barber teach, like, beginner barbers, like, saying people that are, like, four years under? Because you think that, because I see oh, a yeah, lot. you told you we were doing with us before. Yeah, I mean, is it, you think that it's, like. No, they can. They can? Yeah. Because it's shit that I don't know that they do. Yeah. I just see There's that. There's new techniques I, see that I, I never heard of. I see that a lot of going around that, um, about, that, like. Do you think new barbers should be able to come in, like, do seminars? Do yeah, why not? If they're good. Or yeah, you know, I mean, they, you never, you don't know their story. They probably been there, open and close every single day, yeah. seven days a week. They they might be faster. Three runners. hours. I mean, three years, but they were in the shop, fucking 12, 14 hours when a you day. We said by three hours. We mean cutting three hours. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I no. felt I felt the attack on them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying like hour and a half, two hours tops for me. You don't know, no, like I'm just kidding. they could be putting in hours, even though they've only been cutting for three years. Or they could be cutting ten years and have the same amount of hours as somebody who's been cutting a year. Yeah. So like it, you know, I say like anybody, if you got the information and you're 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 willing to share it, share it. Um. Yeah, I think I have a complaint. I think I, I reached one. Um, it's it's more uh, like a debate, more of a complaint, because there's a lot of barbers out there like that I've talked to, and and I've known they charge a certain amount of price, and you charge you charge only a certain amount of price, but you're just as good or almost there. Like what what like my complaint is like they think that they're better because they're they're, they charge more. You no, know? they're not better because they charge more. You know? So, they're like, not. what makes my price differ from your prices? Like, that's my complaint. Because, like, it's not really a complaint or hate. It's more, like, 
why do you think that you're better than me because you charge $100 for a haircut and I only charge half of that or not even half of that? Yeah. And what, you know, you might provide something, but that's cool. Like, you know, you could charge $100 a haircut and you might get a hot towel shave or different type of services, you know, or that's, you just built that type of connection with them, you know, like a, a friendship, not just a barber. Yeah. But it, when it gets to the point of like, I'm better than you. Like, I should be winning competitions, like that cockiness. Like, I hate that when That's people, barbers, their prices are too high. Now they they're, can't their look at, they like, yeah. their egos is high. So when walk-ins come in, what are you going to, you, you're just going to not, you're going to ignore them. And then, and because you're, you're, you're at a high price that you shouldn't be able to, like, like you pretty much look down at these people. Like, you're not, I know you're not going to pay $100 for this cut. So I'm not even going to bother asking if you you want to cut, uh, get a cut. I hate that shit. Like, everybody should have, like, you know, like, if I charge $100 and I provide good service and a walk-in came in, I'll, I'm going to take that walk-in and charge them regular price and moving forward, I'll be like, listen, like, not yeah. listen, but like, this is my price. This like is, this is, but I'm gonna make sure that you yeah. like it before. Yeah, you hit them with the. You know, policy. like yeah, before I'm gonna be like, all right, you know, my appointment. These are my prices. If you want to come back, you know, this is what I. This is what I'm. Uh, the, th- the thing is, I get both sides. I just hate that the fact that they act. They cocky. act like they're cocky. Yeah, no, like right? they're celebrity barbers. Of, of yeah, you cut, thing. you cut, you cut some, you know, influencers. You cut some little. You cut some um, some fucking D late leaguer and now what, you're fucking some But why? Special. What makes you? No, I get both sides because di- like, like me, I charge what I charge, and I don't like cutting walk-ins at a lower price, because somebody could be in my chair for that price that I I set Oh yeah, myself. yeah, yeah, yeah. But to be a team player and a good human being, if there's a whole fucking lobby of walk-ins. I'm not gonna bang them for my price. Yeah, you're I'm gonna, gonna get them in and out of here, and help the shop. Yeah, and you charge them, and, but then but, if you build that connection with them, then yeah, moving then forward, like, you yeah, you tell them these you are your wanna, prices. Yeah, you're well, more than I, welcome to come back and wait around again. But if you come back for my for looking for me, the, this is my booking at with my prices. I feel like that's reasonable, but not with that cocky like I'm better, no. or like you know just because you have. Just because you're cutting for hundred dollars a haircut, Not like, yet. like, like, it's these a lot of the if you're comfortable f- charging that price, cool, but don't make don't make like you're better than the people who pay their twelve dollars a haircut, like you they're beneath you, because they're not for you. They're not your customers. And if you're charging hundred dollars a haircut, you should be somewhere where you don't have to worry about walk-ins. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, you should be in a studio somewhere with your hundred dollar haircuts coming in. Yeah, because if you're it, working you're, in a barber shop that's on the street and you're charging hundred dollars a haircut, there's something wrong. Yeah, unless the the establishment is known for that high price yeah. and it, and you know everybody in that shop is charging. $100. You know, you're not gonna go well, to you, a, a a Ferrari dealership looking for a Honda. Yeah, and, you know, get a price. No, you're gonna go in there. You're gonna get the best quality cut, so you're gonna pay high. Don't be charging hundred dollars, but somewhere where they're charging twenty five. Exactly. The, something's not right. You should have moved on. If that, well, if you feel well, like you're supposed to be getting hundred dollars, you should have moved past that establishment. No, I mean, yeah, you could. I mean, you could, but I feel like no. It, it's counter counter uh, productive. Fuck that word up. But, um, <laughs> if you're charging hundred dollars a haircut, and you're in a barber shop with niggas that are charging twenty five. All of those walk-ins are gonna feel that you don't fuck with them. Yeah. Or it, why? What? Or they'll be like, why? What, what's the difference? Why? Yeah, why is he? What did he get and I didn't get? Yeah. Or, you know. It's gonna look bad for the shop, or it's gonna look bad on you. Yeah. So you should be past that by then. Oh, I, I get what you're saying. Though. These dickheads act like they're better than people because they charge a hundred bucks. Yeah. Fuck these guys. No. I'm, <laughs> no. They're they Don't get me wrong. They're good barbers. It's just that. How they carry themselves. It's like, you they know, like, fuck. they, like, now, like, I cut my hair. Like, I can't see myself. I don't think I ever paid $100 for a haircut. <laughs> but if I was rolling in money and 
I wanted good service, and that was my boy. Yeah, hundred dollars is nothing. I nineteen hundred dollars. Since um, Luke, uh, my boy Lucas, he used to fresh my cut my shit, and parsley cuts. Shout out to him. He cut my shit. Always eighty dollars, sixty, eighty dollars. To me, I never used to pay that much. You know, I was always going to like local little small, uh, mom and pop shops. Like I go to like a Turkish spot, like little small spots. You know, get a haircut, pay twenty five dollars, maybe thirty with five dollar tip. You know, then I got introduced like good quality haircuts, and then I built a relationship with this this barber, and then we became boys, and you know we hung out, and then next thing you know like. His price, I was like, yeah, I, you my boy. then more money, whatever. Like, yeah, so yeah. I, I, to me, that's fine. Like, if I fuck with you, you give me good haircuts, you know, I'm a, I'm gonna bless you. Like, that's just, that's just respect and like, and, and, and appreciate your, your work, you know. But shit, like, if I'm on the customer side, then I ain't paying fucking hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> fuck that. Especially like, Wait, for, but for a person that getting, don't give a shit about their hair, like, you're you know. You're not getting a hundred dollars as a walk in. No, I don't care who you are. As a walk-in, you just walk into a random barbershop and they say it's 100 bucks. Niggas are turning around. Once you see somebody's work and you see you build it, yeah, like, yeah, then yeah. yeah. Or Show you got the referral that. from another, somebody else who's paying $100, then yeah. Show them what you're working with. Hey, yo. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Gay. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I, yeah, that was my complaint. But I mean, like I said, it's a, more of a debate complaint at the same time because I get why people charge because they work hard for where they're at. You know, you don't just jump in the barber chair behind the chair and start cutting and be like, boom, sixty dollars for a haircut when your shit's only worth fucking fifteen bucks the most. You know, so they put well, the work and everything. Just but just when you get to that price screen. range. Yeah, when you get to that price where you feel like you, you're making money and you're good, still act humble. Humble yourself because you're learning every day. You're, you're, you know what I'm saying? Like, just carry yourself well. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> just because you drive around a nice car don't mean shit. No. Well, that's the complaint of the week. Um, we're going to do the product of the week, and then we got our shout out. I'm going to go get my product. To keep them entertained. Oh, Super Bowl is on next week. I know we're not. I know. Yeah, I know. Next week, February 11th. I know it's not Barber Talk. Actually, it is Barber Talk because because Barber Shots, people talk about bets, make money, they talk about sport, blah, blah, blah. But who are your predictions? I want to know because a lot of people are also saying that this shit is script. They're saying Detroit and San Francisco are taking it to the Super Bowl 58, I think. But, yeah, I'm going for I want Baltimore to win. Detroit, Baltimore, those are my predictions. Baltimore takes it. Let's see if I got it. But back to the product of the week. You got yours? Uh... No. Let me go grab mine. See, um, you won't get any type of sports commentary or betting from me. I don't like professional sports. I like playing sports. I don't like watching professional sports. So no. If you want, if you want to talk about anime, I got you. There's a bunch of new animes out. Solo leveling, fire. Shangri-La Frontier, Fire, Undead, Unwanted, Fire. Caesar's coming back with his product. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know how to say the oh. fucking the brand. What is it Mara Mar? Mara Mara. Mara Mara. Whatever the fuck it is, Mara Mara, <laughs> some shit. But yeah. Like I'll talk to the camera. Right? Yeah. Throw that into your alcohol or don't. Just throw it on straight. 
Shit smells awesome. People feel like you just sprayed them down with like something extravagant. And almost every supply place has it. Fire. It smells yeah. awesome. It's a bunch of different smells. I got number one. What does that smell like? I'm going to take it. Not only they can smell it. But Give you my feedback as well. Because, mm. Yeah. It's number one. My man over here has number four. I don't know why I just tried smelling this microphone. <laughs> I just tried playing it off. <laughs> In my head, I'm like, why did I just do that? And I just tried playing it off. Like I'm like, the metal I, swear, I, I was like this. And then I just went, I'm a fucking idiot, bro. I'm telling you. I played the aguardiente. But um, no, this shit smells good. I like that it's like one. A, it's like an old man, like, not. No, Mikey no. got the real old man one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one smells good. His it smells good too, but it just smells like old man. Looks like like grape soda. Yeah, drink that if you want to. Mm-hmm. Of course, you have a grape soda. Yeah. Like Not because he's like black. <laughs> no, nah, it smells awesome. Oh goddamn! What you got? Um, my product of the week is Mark Valent Valentine. It's a leave-in conditioner. A lot of people use like the um. For the camera. Oh yeah, see. let me. My, how rude am I? Mark Valentine. They're all. They have um. Um, all different type of fragrances, but this one is a dual paste. Um, it smells like. Like a cocoa cocoa butter. <laughs> um. So you smell Mike again? <laughs> 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 it smells like ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I used to use the um the cream. Yeah. At the bottom, put it. But oh no, you, it's smelling now. It smells good. But then you know, then you got especially if you wear gloves, then either you, you then you get the the product on your and your clippers if you don't, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. if you have to go back and detail or whatever you miss something. This you just spray, you know, right on there. Cool the direct, style yeah, yeah, exactly where you want to spray. Smells good. It's good for the hair. Um, softens it, brightens, brightens it, and and the, it gives it more value. It says, <laughs> brightens it. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, lack of uh, English. <laughs> I wasn't born here. <laughs> um, yeah, but this is my product of the week. I I'm a I'm big fan. I'm a big fan. Uh, Mario, he comes around, hooks it up. He he's the only one that has been having this. Um, it's probably online somewhere. Probably, yeah, yeah. for sure. Amazon, other beauty beauty products, uh, supply stores, somewhere around there. But he has them. They're not that much. I like them. Like I said, I don't like. I don't. I don't have to use my hands. Spray it on. Boom. That's my. That's my product of the week. I feel like I'm like stuttering now because I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak English. No English. No speak English. Now our shout out of the week. I feel like I have to do a female barber because like a funeral. Well, female. Oh, uh, female. Because of all the shit I was talking earlier. Hmm. So do I have one in here? Oh yeah. Yeah, we got. Two of them that we, they're supposed to come on the show, but yeah. we do um, tea time. Tea time. Sounds like you're going, going golfing. <laughs> it's underscore T, underscore, underscore, time, underscore, underscore. She's doing a thing down underscore. in Florida. She's, she's good. And like. Where is she from? Florida? Florida, yeah. And like. She's not one of those that are just like, let me bend over in front of the camera and get mad views. Like, she actually can fucking cut hair. Nice. So, like, and you don't see, like, the fucking thirst trap videos from her. She just shows videos of cutting hair. That's yeah. it. So, like, shout out to you, Tea Time. It's tea. And Blue, we'll go over you next week. <laughs> uh, my shout out is to brought to you by... I what didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, cause uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't, yeah, this is my shout out, cause this is what made me just fuck up in my English. So I'm blaming it on him. That's what loosened him up, and he's uh, he's chilling today on this episode. Yeah, <laughs> you no, know, cause I realized 
I've been I watch my episodes. You know, I'm also a viewer on this episode on on this podcast because I like to contradict my uh, critic credit critique. critic critique critique. critique. <laughs> critique my my uh my videos so his performances my performances <gasps> so i noticed that like i smoke i'm 420 friendly so yeah. i look at myself and i'm like damn it's <laughs> one of the negatives of working in a barbershop <laughs> uh yeah so i i I look at myself like, God, God damn, wake up. <laughs> wake the fuck up. Talk louder. But now... I have a bad habit of staring off into space while we're recording. Me too. I, I look up. <laughs> that, <laughs> way, that way. I'll just stare. I, I'm not used to these cameras. Yeah. Plus, there, like, there, the, there, the there, actual there, lights are hurting my eyes, so I try not to look at the lights, but the cameras are directly in front of them. Yeah. I'm also congested, so my, my breathing's off, so uh, it's a little hard for me to breathe. Um, <laughs> so my eyes are always like like tearing up right now. I didn't smoke yet. <laughs> I uh, didn't smoke for this episode because I wanted to try it out. See if there was a difference between last episode and this episode. I feel like this also, was... tell me. Because if you guys don't want me to... Because I think I talk too much when, 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 uh, when I keep fucking drinking or don't smoke or I just feel like shut the fuck up, you know? She died? Yeah. Fuck. That's my claim p- complaint of the week. Sony, <laughs> step your shit up. <laughs> oh, shit. But, nah. This is a good episode it. this week. I appreciate you guys keep on watching. Yes. Uh, because I, I also ran into a couple people outside. Uh, I mean, not outside. They're all outside. Well, outside like, of yeah, the shop. Outside the shop. And... <laughs> They told me, uh, yo, I watch your podcast, you know, I saw a good shit, and I told them, like, yeah, thank you, you know, I'm, we're just starting up. Well, you've been doing this shit for a while, I'm just starting well, up. I haven't been on it like that. Yeah, but uh, I just started up, and then he was, like, he actually, like, paid attention, because, like, he hit me with some of the shit that I said, and I'm like, oh, this, god damn, you, you listen, you went at least, like, 15 <laughs> minutes, 20 minutes into the video, yeah. you know, was it just a quick, like, five seconds, yeah, thing? Nah. So I was like, oh, man, I appreciate that. So like, Yo, I, we talking about that. Shout out to you, Harry. I know you watch every episode. Yes, Harry. Yo, shout out to you because you were bringing up some shit I forgot I talked about. Yeah, so. and yo, thank you for your services, bro. <laughs> Keep these streets good. Shout out, Harry. Harry, I like Harry, bro. He, that's my he, guy. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Yeah, that's I my fuck guy. With him. He's funny. We have him come guest on the show. Yeah, just man. Just to talk his shit. Bro, <laughs> what he tells me, like the shit that sometimes he sees at work and he deals with, bro, flowers to you, bro, because I, I'm, fuck that camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at my camera and she's, <laughs> but uh, yeah, shout out to him because yeah, the shit that he tells me, he's, uh, he does some real shit and all the cops out there fucking salute, um, but. No, we gotta have him come on the show. Yeah, that'd, that'd be fun. Yeah, I mean, like, since you're bringing that up, like, let's, uh, barbers, like, we want barbers as well, you know, we want that, you, we want your feedback, we want to, like, like, see what you, what, what you think about certain things, but we, I think we should also have, like, like, somebody who's not a barber from yeah, a different like, like, angle, like, yeah, like, on the, on the chair side, yeah. like, get a client, yeah. Get a, you gotta get a, a non barber. See, code, like what, so. what, like what, what they hate when they see a barber. Like if they're walking, like when yes. you go to a barber and you see, like I hate. I hate, have to, I hate when I see barber. I see, I see, uh, I see people on their phones and and don't even like acknowledge me. Like I've done it. Sorry, but I'm working on that. Or I, you just call me at the wrong wrong time. That I was looking at my phone. I. I I'm not. Man, I'm not taking. It, right now, I'll take I look, I look resp- my phone all the time. I take responsibility. I've done it. You know, we all barbers have done it in the past. We either broke the habit or we keep Don't doing care. it. Yeah, you know. But um, yeah, talking about that, I know we're slowly wrapping up. But you come into a barber shop and the dude all in the back is not paying attention to you, and there's other barbers close. Don't get mad at the dude in the back. Don't. You know why? Because when they put in their time. To not have to talk to you and walk in. Yeah. There's six of the barbers in the way before getting to you. He's the last person you should talk to. 
Yeah. Because he has appointments. So he's not ignoring you, just ignoring you. He's ignoring you either because he has appointments or he's trying to get the younger barbers haircuts. So don't get mad at him. Because him is me. Don't get, don't get, don't get mad at me. Ask me for a friend. <laughs> ask for a friend. Don't get mad at me. But yeah, nah. I'm letting, I'm letting everyone eat. <laughs> Yo, the uh, the six people ahead of me, like yo, they should be getting haircuts before me. I had my haircuts. I did my time. Fuck that. But that was this week's episode. Yeah, that was this week's episode. Appreciate you all. Whether if you're local, and we can't find a bar, a, a customer side co-host. DM us. Yeah, DM us. Let us know. Even if you're a big barber, a new barber, an old barber, a wanna be, wanna want to yeah, be a barber. Yeah, you never hit even us come up here. and Just even come come on the show, or we'll we'll guide you through through what we did. Maybe it'll help you. Maybe you you don't use the advice that we give you. Only it's the good advice, right? Only steer them in the right direction. Yes, not, not, yes. Not, not, no hater <laughs> no hate over here. But yeah, hit us up because we want <laughs> we want company too. No. You know. We want we want to see what's out there also, so hit us up. Let us know what you what you. Um, yeah, I'm done talking, bro. What? No, you, no, <laughs> I'm done. Fuck this. Right, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Come back next week. We're we'll drop another. Oh, we'll like, drop another one. Subscribe and whatever fucking button over here. There it could be here. It could yeah, be up there. Up the there. Up there. It's, going, it's going to be there somewhere. Yeah, and then all uh, yeah. So. See you guys next week. Thank you again for watching. You guys listening, make sure you hit that follow button on fucking whatever listening device you're listening to. This Peace. Is Christian, the unaffiliated barber. Caesar. Out of here. Caesar legendary cuts. Clocking out. <laughs>